Welcome everybody, I'm Nathan Stalby, the director of the Clark County Historical Association, and we are standing in the basement of the Borough Morgan Mill, and right behind me is basically the engine of how this whole operation works. This is the water wheel and the gears, and this is actually how everything is powered up. When we're ready to grind, what we do, once the stones are in place upstairs, we have a wheat stone and a corn stone for, they, that weigh differently so we can grind both cornmeal and wheat. Once those are set into place, what we have to make sure is that all of these gears, all the teeth that you see right here, the white material in the teeth, that's lard. Back in the 18th century, they would use animal fat, which is not much different. Once these are engaged, or once the lard is covering the teeth, we also put lard on the rondelles, which are the rounder cylindrical pieces that go into the teeth once the gears are engaged. Once everything is set, all everything is oiled up or larded up, we engage the gears, make sure that everything is ready to go upstairs, that all parties who are working on both the upper level and this level are ready to go, and then we start the water wheel. Now, the water wheel is 20 feet in diameter. And to put that in perspective, let's take a walk back behind this area and take a look at the wheel. Now, as you can see here, this wheel is quite big. And unlike most mills in this area, the water wheel is on the inside of the mill. This is very unusual for this area during the when mills were being built in the 18th century. And this actually helps better preserve the wheel because it's outside away from the weather elements. As you can see, 20 feet right down here, the water that powers the wheel flows back out here in what we call the tail race. This water eventually goes back into Spout Run, which we will talk about a little bit later. And this wheel is made of white oak, so it's extremely heavy. So as you can imagine, upkeep for an 18th century mill is quite difficult. Now let's go talk about what happens when the water wheel is engaged and the stones are turning. Where does that grain go? Well, follow me. Now, once the everything is engaged and the stones are turning, the grain is going to come down below the stones and feed through this chute right here. We will lay down screens, and this is a sifter that is also powered by the water wheel. The grain is sifted and falls into our grain bin right here. And then once that grain is sifted, we scoop it up, bring it over to this table, weigh it out into two pound bags, and then we sell it right here at the mill. We do all kinds of cornmeal, red, white, yellow, blue, and Indian cornmeal. We also do buckwheat, we also do hard wheat and soft wheat flour. We also do rye, and we also do nine grain as well. And we even make a pancake mix. It's a combination of the buckwheat and the wheat. We hope you enjoyed this video and join us for the next one as we talk a little bit about some of the interesting artifacts that you'll see down here at the mill.